talk a little bit about Miles' elbow? Or? <laughs> uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago, you know, I took an elbow to the face from Miles, just rebound, rebounding battle. You know, as basketball happens, it's, it is what it is. So, yeah. That's a big elbow to get hit by, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big elbow for sure. My face was, my whole eye was like purple up here. But yeah, it's gotten better over time, so doing well. Um, I think it's obviously no secret that your shooting percentages went down a little bit last year. What have you been doing to get kind of back to the freshman form that you showed? Um, just shooting with confidence, you know, on the off season, just shooting every spot, every every which way you can shoot, coming in, spreading down, coming off picks, you know, everything. It's just confidence and keep shooting. That's the only way a shooter can uh, get better is uh, just focusing on the craft of shooting and not stopping. When you think about last season, what did you think there was any uh, kind of consistent glitch, maybe rushing it or any, anything with technique? Um, nothing technique wise. I think it was all up in the mind right here. Just, you know, maybe thinking too much, um, worried about stuff and just instead of just shooting the ball, I know how to shoot it. I was just going to say that. Is there a big, is there a difficult transition from shooting how you shoot in practice to shooting in a game? And because I heard you, you shot well in practice last year. Yeah, I shot well in practice, um, you know, just game jitters and stuff, you know, things things happen here and there and whatever. But, yeah, I'm just shooting well in practice now, uh, focusing on the game, you know, just keeping the stroke right, um, getting shots up in poly when I can, uh, keeping the, you know, everything focused and making sure I keep shooting the ball as well as I can. What do you do to get more focused or stay focused? Um, you know, just try to block out the noise, you know. The main thing is not thinking too much, you know, the shooter shoot, so. Uh, you know, the best shooters, Clay Thompson, Steph, Reggie Miller, you go down the line. Uh, they just, you know, you can't think about the last shot and focus on the next one. Even if it goes in or out, uh, you got to think about the next one going in. You ever talk to Reggie Miller? Uh, I have not. I would love to talk to him if I could, but yeah. Are, are you the uh, leader in NIL deals? I know you have a lot of nice um, Yeah, I, maybe I am. Uh, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I try to, uh, you know, focus on business stuff outside of basketball as well. Yeah. You know, grow myself as a person um, in the business world and focus on things that, you know, basketball has taught me and, you know, using my platform that I can and uh, bringing out other places in my life and aspects that I can uh, put forward into the world. Have those, because I did one on Chase Griffin with the football team and, and I heard that like once you get good feedback from companies, it'll kind of snowball because they'll mm -hmm. hear about what you did with the other ones. Is that yeah. been the case for you? Yeah, so I've talked to some other companies and then, you know, like kind of, some companies have talked to me and I've had smaller deals and then more and more come uh, come to me and talk to me about other stuff. So yeah, like you said, it's a snowball effect of, you know, seeing who you are as a person. Have you done other deals as well? And you're kind of jumping on that. What deals do you have? Um, I mean, I have a bunch. If you go to my website at jkima.com, there's a bunch there. So just check that out. Is it is it like 10 or more or how do you know? Uh, it's definitely like 10 or more, yeah. Well, somewhere around there, yeah. I'm not totally sure though. <laughs> what was it like having fans at like final fans again? Uh, I mean, it was amazing. You know, you love playing in front of fans, hearing screaming, loud uh, noise from everyone. So it was, you know, it wasn't a big adjustment, but you know, being from playing in front of no one to having you know all the fans that love and cheer for you, uh, it was pretty fun and exciting. Do you think last year having no fans kind of affected your shooting or your focus at all? Just since it was different, or um, you could say maybe a little bit. Just you know. The fans are the fans do help, you know, being in energy and having more of a focused mindset. Uh, you know, playing for fans and stuff and having crowd cheering, you know, you definitely do uh, bring yourself up a little more. But I wouldn't say that is the main reason. No. How does it help you offensively to have so many more other weapons on this team? Um, you know, other guys can get in the paint. Um, you know, we have so many guys that down low who can score, uh, three point shooters from all around, uh, guys who can get in the mid range. Uh, drive to the basket, uh, point guards passing the ball. I mean, we have everyone you think of on this team who could do it. So, to being able to have other people who are capable of doing stuff will able to expand my game and leave me open more. And, you know, the teammates are the best thing that happened for me and everyone else to be able to get everyone up. And so, I, since everyone's a threat on the floor, then they have to guard all five of us instead of three, two, four, or however many. How do you think the defense has improved? Overall, team defense in the last few years? Uh, defense has definitely been a big focus. Uh, I know during the year we weren't the greatest on defense, and then towards the tournament we got way better. But uh, that's one of our focuses, you know, staying ready on defense uh, to create offense. Uh, we definitely have the length, the, the athleticism, athleticism, and the players to do it this year. So uh, we could be one of the best defensive teams in the country for sure. Awesome. Thank you.